Greetings, YouTube. Alain and Alicia back at you from right here at the Green Thumbs and Gardening Channel. And we have some issues going on here at the Green Thumbs and Gardening Channel, YouTube. Um, and I tell you, uh, personally for me, seeing this is a first for me. Um, I've been here in this location four years, and I've never seen this issue with gladiolas. In fact, I didn't even know that gladiolus indeed have pests that will literally eat them up. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at what's going on here uh, at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel um, with our gladiolus. I'm gonna actually show you guys what's been eating our gladiolus. So take a quick, 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 close, close peek, YouTube. This little bastard right here. Now exactly what type of worm this is, I have no idea, YouTube. So if you happen to know what this is, um, anybody out there in, in YouTube land, anywhere around the world, tell me what the hell this is and 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 how I go about um, or what what I do organically or even non non organically to control. Uh, guys like this right here because if, if if there's one thing that I simply cannot have is my gladiolus getting eaten up. If you guys know anything about um, a lion unleashed, you know that I, I prize my uh, gladiolus and having something to eat on my gladiolus is just a no-no. That's, that's a no-no. That's, that's a it's unacceptable and it just ain't going down like that. So now that you guys have had a chance to look at this guy and maybe you can tell me what it is, I'm gonna go ahead and squash this guy because once you see exactly what this guy's been doing to our gladiolus, you will see why I decided to squash this guy that I'm gonna do right now. So hang All tight, right, you dude. Take a look at this. And this is the first um, up that I brought you guys on my gladiolus since uh, about a month ago. It's been at least a month since I brought you guys an update on my gladiolus. And I, I, I'm pissed off right now. Um, I'm just not noticing this and Either it's, either it's just happened within the last couple of days or it's been going on and I've just been taking care of so many other things that I haven't noticed this YouTube. But take a look at the way that worm or these particular worms have been destroying my gladiolus. You see that? Can you guys see that? Again, this is my very first time seeing this on any gladiolus. Wild or none was my first time see I, I I didn't even know that gladiolus actually had pests. But can you look at that? I'm gonna take you up here um to the other side of the sidewalk where I actually found that guy over there on this, um that was um he was actually on this plant much and down at the time when I when I caught him. So take a look at this YouTube. Can you see that damage and destruction to my gladiolus? I mean, holes all the way through the leaves, just munching down, munching down, just crunching. The whole top of this damn leaf right here, during the leaf, excuse my language, is been eaten away. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm pissed. I, I'm really pissed and upset uh, right now because again, I pride myself um, and, I, and I prize my gladiolus and, and this, is, this is completely unacceptable. And not only is it unacceptable, it's happened to just about every one of the gladiolus that I've planted here along my sidewalk. There's some type of damage to every last one of them. And again, it's only happened in the past couple of days. But this girl's been lucky right here. I, I don't see any damage on her as of yet. She's been lucky, but take a look at this YouTube. Now this guy's still on, there's another one still on this, but I hadn't picked this one off yet because I wanted to let you guys actually see the culprit in action. But yeah, see those holes down there, that damage. All of that is these darn worms on my gladiolus. So if there's anybody out there in YouTube land who grows gladiolus, you've had this problem on your gladiolus and you remedied the situation, uh, leave us a, a note in the comments down there. Let me know what you did to, um, remedy this problem because again for me this is totally unacceptable and at this rate my gladi gladiolus won't survive at this rate 
even the new the, the new one that just came up the other day this was the gladiator that was behind my mailbox that um was in this in the shade before i moved my mailbox to over there um and i had to actually plant another uh mailless bulb here in this hole because the previous one died but as you can see it's just coming up and it already has damage and again that's totally unacceptable i'm going to show you guys right now the culprit he's still on this gladiolus gladi on um plant right here munching down as we speak and i'm going to show you see that youtube see that fellow right there if my iphone will actually um come into focus can you see that yeah that's one of those same guys that I just crushed over there on the sidewalk over there. Just going to town on my gladiolus. So I'm about to go, go to town on his butt as soon as I end this video. At any rate, YouTube, if you um, are growing a gladiolus, you have experienced this problem in the past, you're currently experiencing this problem, um, what, do you, what, what do you do? What did you do to um, get these worms under the control? besides squash them when you see them. But trust me, by the time, unless you inspect your gladiolus every single day, by the time you see these guys, they will already have done the damage. And, and, and again, that's unacceptable.